Okay. So the first part we're going to learn about is how to log in to Adobe Spark. So go to spark.adobe.com. Type that in the web address bar. And once you get to the web page, navigate to the Sign In tab. And on the right side, you're going to go down to Log In with School Account. In the email address, you're going to want to write your BCPS email address. So mine's w43 at bcps.org. And then I'm going to select Continue. This will take me to my main screen in Adobe Spark. After logging in, we're going to begin by opening our web page project to create our art show. So after I select the web page project, I'm going to type in the title of my art show. In this case, it's the Do It Yourself Art Show 2020 2021. From here, I'm going to start preparing my pictures. Make sure you have your pictures in a folder on your desktop that you would like to show. I have mine organized by grade level and content. So I'm going to upload a photograph. For this, I'm going to find a generic photo. So I'm going to find a free photo. And you can look up any theme you'd like. So I'm going to select just an art show. So an art gallery pops up. And from here, I'm going to start with something called a glide show. Glide shows tend to be more interactive. And I'm going to start by uploading a background picture of student artwork. Once I find the artwork I like, I'm going to upload it. And then a rectangle will appear where I have options to add over top of my image. I'm going to create some text just to introduce the viewer. I'm going to type, welcome to the DIY art show. From here, I'm going to add a picture of a student artwork. Again, I select Upload Photo, and I navigate to my sixth grade folder. In this case, I choose to go to seventh grade and select a flower. This will also offer you an opportunity to give credit to the artist. You can do this by typing the artwork information in the captions area. We're next going to talk about how to create a video so that you can present a larger amount of student artwork. I find this helpful when I have a large contingency of artwork I want to show. So I'm going to select Slideshow, and I'm going to name it my sixth grade artwork. So this will contain all the sixth grade artwork from my school this year. I'm going to go down to Make Up My Own, which is just a way to kind of structure. And this is where I can upload photos of each student's artwork. Essentially, this is creating like an interactive PowerPoint or video of student artwork. So when I'm ready, I'll just add a slide. I'll select a photo. Go to my sixth grade folder and find any artwork I wish to upload. So I'm going to upload Anthony's. Notice that his artwork's too big. So I'm going to select the edit icon, and I'm going to click the minus magnifying glass to zoom out. When I get to a point I like, I'm going to add some text. 
This way I can give credit to Anthony for this artwork. But to make sure it fits on the screen, I'm going to use the caption style of text. This way it shows up towards the bottom. I'm going to go ahead and type the artwork information here. And now I'm going to make it a little smaller so it doesn't detract from the artwork itself. The box will automatically line up with the size of the letters, so you don't have to worry about resizing the box. You can also move it around to any position you'd like within your screen. And then I'm going to continue this process until I've completed my video, filling it up with student artwork. You can also add credits if you do not want to do this. You can click Hide Credits. And over here it's the same thing. You can hide your outro. You can also add music. If you go to the Music tab in the right corner, you have a wide range of different songs that you can add to your video or slideshow presentation. So I select the Setting Out. And then I hit Play just to get an idea of what it's going to look like. If I'm happy with this, I'm going to share it. I'm going to select Publish. And then I'm going to fill in the artwork information or presentation information for that matter. So I've got a title and subtitle. And then I'm going to hit Create Link. This creates a web address that I can use to incorporate into my web page. I'm going to navigate back to Adobe Spark. And I'm going to go back to the web page that I've been working on for my art show. I'm going to scroll down until I reach the point where I want to add in the video. I'm going to select the plus sign and go to video. And then it says add an embedded video. In that area, you're going to paste the URL to the video you created. And now it's been uploaded. If you're ready to see what it'll look like to somebody visiting your web page, click Present, and then you can actually view it as if you were viewing it from the internet. Next, we're going to talk about another option for adding artwork photos called Creating a Photo Grid. I'm going to go down below my Glide Show, select Photo Grid, select Upload Photos, and find the pictures that I wish to add. You can add as many as you like, but you can only add one caption. Next, we're going to talk about a split layout and adding a button. So I'm going to go down to the plus sign and add a split layout, which is just a way to add a picture and text. I'm going to find another artwork that I want to add. Once it's selected, maybe I want to put it on the other side. I can collect, select the button in the middle and switch its location. And then I might add some text here. And you can pick the type of text you want. This is going to be kind of my summary. And then I want to add a link to another art show that's been created. So I'm going to go to a button. You type the text that you want to display for your button. So I'm going to upload another art show. And then I'm going to paste the URL to the other art show here. I can also select the alignment, so I want it in the middle. And that's how a button looks like. To view your button and see if it works, select Present so that you can view it as if you're visiting the website from the internet. Scroll down and select Spring Art Show, and this will navigate you or take you to the other art show that I've created. This is a great way to add other websites. Part 8, you're going to publish your web page so that other people can view your art show. To do this, you're going to need to select Share, select 
publish and share link, and then fill out the correct information and select create link. Once you've created your link, go to copy, and that's the web address to your art show. Select a new tab in your browser, and then click paste to paste your art show URL. Hit enter, and now you can see your completed art show you've created. Good job, enjoy your online art show. Congratulations. I have more videos if you go to my YouTube channel, Mr. Ford's Art Class. Thanks for watching.